So the bed and breakfast refers to the area out at the far west boundary line of my property where I've set up a tripod feeder. I've got a galvanized steel bucket out there with water and corn in it and that I occasionally mix up some sour corn. And it's got a couple of buckets of a thing called hog cheese. And it's attracted this one giant uh, male boar who's coming out there every morning at right before sunrise and every evening just before sunset or after sunset. And uh, it's been going on for several days, uh, 18th, 19th, 20th. Um, and so we're getting these pictures from the Smart Scouter camera, which transmits the pictures that it gets through the cellular network. So I receive them on my cell phone and in an email, even though I'm uh, 150 miles away. So I also set up another camera, a, a Moultrie M80, which is at about a 90 degree angle offset to the Smart Scouter. And so we've got deer and we've got possums and we've got always lots of raccoons. And the raccoons come out here and pick the corn off the ground. They climb into the galvanized steel tub and get stuff out of there. And so we've always got four or five raccoons around uh, every night. But occasionally something larger shows up, and it turns out that the raccoons are not scared at all of the big boar. They will be just happy to eat corn alongside him. He kept coming out every night around sunrise and sunset, and then he started coming out at about 1.30 in the morning. And so we picked up the video off the Moultrie M80 camera and occasionally you'll be able to see off to the left of the picture illumination coming from the Smart Scouter as they're both detecting motion and going into picture snapping mode. But one male boar is not exactly what we had intended for this area. And sure enough, one night, at about 2.30 in the morning, after the big boar left, we got a whole sounder. about three mother sows and each one has probably got an average of four piglets or young pigs and we count somewhere around 15 feral hogs. They come in all colors. Some are striped, some are black, some are brown. The feeder at this top of this tripod dispenses corn at 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. Right now they're just eating all the corn off the ground because it slings quite a bit of corn. So they're just in a feeding frenzy. Feral hogs are a mix of domestic pigs and wild boar. The feral hogs have fur, a long hair. They have a flatter body. They have a longer snout. Their ears are not floppy, they're more straight. Their legs are longer. They've got a straight tail. And these spotted ones that you see are an indication of inbreeding, that is, brothers mating with sisters. And each sow will have an average of about four pigs. Sometimes both the cameras will trigger at the same time and you'll see the light come on in the left side of the screen like you see here. And then from that camera, the angle looks like this. And those are the pictures that we get sent to us over the cellular network.
There's some very small pigs in this group also. So what happens is if one of the female sows is lost due to hunting or coyote or whatever, her little pigs will join up with one of the other mothers. So these sounders sometimes have lots and lots of young pigs and only a few mother sows to take care of them. But one of the things you don't ever want to do is get in between a mother and her offspring. If you look straight ahead and just to the right of center, you'll see a dark spot in this picture, and that's where our blind is. I don't know if that was a thunderclap or if that was a gunshot, but being way out here in the country, you hear gunfire quite a bit. People are hunting coyotes that are eating their chickens, they're hunting foxes, they're hunting rabbits, they're hunting feral hogs. Once they've eaten all the easy stuff off the top of the ground, then they use their snouts to shove the dirt around to look for more corn or mast under the dirt. And this is, we call this rooting. Generally, you can tell if an area is being visited by feral hogs because of the rooting they do, and sometimes they root up a farmer's entire field, causing a lot of crop damage. The long snout gives them an incredible sense of smell and they can find food buried deep underground or even deep underwater. Now in another video you'll see references to a food plot or a turnip plot that I've planted, about 8,000 square feet of turnips, and I'm hoping that they will come over there and spend weeks and months rooting up all the turnips to get to the juicy stuff. There seem to be several very large males hanging around this sounder. Normally they're off by themselves and the sows don't tolerate them being around because they have a tendency to chase the younger pigs away and scare them. But they seem to be allowed to hang around this sounder. Those big boar are not really very good eating, but they look great on the wall. A mother sow may have piglets that are in all kinds of different colors, all in the same litter.
She may have striped ones and brown ones and black ones and red ones and spotted ones. And then they left around 3.30 in the morning, and they came back about 6.45 that evening and helped themselves to the corn that was put out at 5 p.m. by the feeder. And I'm hoping they'll keep on coming back as they become conditioned to the sound of the feeder going off at 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. and the smell of the grape Kool-Aid that I put into the corn.